York and we find ourselves at New Era Field in Orchard Park. The folks in Buffalo love their bills and a moment ago they entered to the delight of this sold out crowd. They're set for football as their bills will do battle with the New England Patriots. Allen and the Bills now with a first and ten. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. He's got a man complete. It's Clay. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here's the now 30-year-old running back, LaShawn McCoy, and able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. And that was a good run. This was only one of nine guys to go over 1,000 yards in 2017, and I think you can't let him run wild here. What do you think, 100 yards, the measuring stick? Always. That is the threshold. You want to keep him under that if you want to play good defense. They'll try and run for it with McCoy. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. So opening drive, three straight runs, unable to pick up the first. I know the fans want to see first downs, but guess what? The coaches have reasons for what they're doing. Sometimes they've scripted it, and some of these runs, while they haven't been successful now, they may be successful later on. And now Edelman. Almost out kicked his coverage there. 48 yard punt, but 10 on the return. And the Patriots take over. And now out come the Patriots. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now a play fake here on first down. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. On the ground, Michelle. Well, they get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. The New England Patriots remain consistent on offense with a stable of running backs. They added Sony Michelle, the 31st pick of the draft in 2018, to that stable at the University of Georgia, mainly for his ability to run inside the tackles and add a little thump to their game. From the gun on third down, Brady. Throw left side, complete. It's Gordon. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. They go play action here on first down. Looking sideline incomplete. The wideout Chris Hogan, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. On second down, Michelle, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Lorenzo Alexander brings him down. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Throwing his Brady on third down. Now he'll dump it underneath. 
it to his running back, complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll be fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for right, is can you gain an advantage in field Boom position? Ready. And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Forced out to his left. And I think the ball's out. And this one's going to go out of bounds. So no recovery, but on fourth down, a change of possession anyway. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know it's coaching the screen, but just hang on to the ball, man. On second down, it's McCoy. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Hurry up, here we go. Boom, Throwing his Allen on third. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's caught inside the 30. And he gets this deep into Patriot territory. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield, but when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. Now McCoy. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. LaShawn McCoy, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Bills have taken the early lead. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. Hauschka with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Here's Hauschka now to kick it away. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Space to maneuver at the 40. That one's good for 35 yards on the ground and a first down. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early, so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him, but don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. And nobody leaked. Big play. Keeping it on the ground on first, Michelle. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. I like the strategy. 
extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. By 20! By 20! They'll run it here. This is James White. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Double this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. On play action, now Brady. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Well, getting to the quarterback, that's an area Buffalo really wants to improve this season. Hard to believe they went to the playoffs last year. Just 27 sacks on the season. With that rank in the league, 29th Tied overall. Time for 29th, Tied yeah. Time for 29th. If they want to get back to the playoffs, they opt up that number deep into the 30s. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10. They'll start the drive with a carry by McCoy. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. The safety, Patrick Chung, is the one who makes the stop. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they were hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now Allen throwing on second down. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Andre Holmes that time. And it's third down. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. Here's Allen. Man open, that's Ray Ray McLeod. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. So first and 10 now from the 30. First down carry here for McCoy. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Allen looks to throw on second down. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Zay Jones was the intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. On third and long, it's Allen, and that is incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Field goal forthcoming for Steven Hauschka. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. And Hauschka's kick is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right. And we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now. 
than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Yeah, and now those 50 plus yarders seem easy for some reason. Now after the made field goal, Hauschka back out onto the field to kick it away. Now it's Patterson. Cordero Patterson, the 40, past the 20, 10, and he takes it all the way, but there is a flag down, so hold the celebration. This one's coming back, so that will push him back. And now we know why he had a little extra space to run, don't we? An illegal block in the back, that penalty will move them back. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 21. The give, this is Michelle. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. New England on third down. Just one for three thus far. This time it's third and three. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Looking for Gronkowski and he's got him complete. First catch for the all-pro Gronk. And a first down. And I put my first tally mark next to the Brady to Gronk counter here. I think it may be the first of many because once they get going, look out. Things tend to snowball. Tom Brady trusts Gronk as much as any receiver I think he's thrown to in his career. And it's evident and when you see that. And that's saying something. That's saying something right there. But he's earned it. Brady now on first down. Going deep here for Adelman. Pushed now a clash of bodies here and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Second and nine now from the 21. Set. Green, 39. On second down, here's Allen. Over the middle, it's Holmes. And down he'll go at the 25. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Allen now looks to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. The Bills send the punter out as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. 
I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand Go. what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, you find big 87. On the ground, this is Michelle. And the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. My 20! My 20! My 20! They'll run it now out of the gun. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to make it third down and 10. From the gun, it's Brady. And he took the contact as he was throwing it. And the ball drops incomplete. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively, and then just continued there with that incompletion. And definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. Here's Ryan Allen now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Murphy now to return. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball right, at least go. a few times Three, on offense. 39. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Charles, I think sometimes maybe we take LaShawn McCoy for granted. Been in the league since 2009. He's played 12 or more games every season as a running back. 30 years old this year. What do you see for his future? I still see a very bright future for him, and you're exactly right. We do kind of take him for granted. Remember, he was with Philadelphia. Then he goes to... The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Dante Hightower. Tough to handle on that blitz. He gets him for a loss of five. Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Now Allen. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Nothing open downfield, and he had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. Became an all-arm throw trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. The Bills on third down. Two for five to this point. This will be third and 15. Now let's go. Blue landing. Blue landing. From the gun, it's Allen. Bearing one out deep for Holmes here. And that one incomplete. Had some position but couldn't hold on, and it brings up fourth down. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. The Bills send the punter out as he's on to kick it away. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. So the Patriots coming out now. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. 
Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that can put your team in some jeopardy? They begin with Michelle on the ground. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. Up at the 29 now. They'll head to the line. Second and a yard. Wait, 20. Wait, 20. On second down, here's Brady. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. Brady to Gronkowski. Cover athlete to cover athlete for a Patriot first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So from the 36 now, first and 10. 20! Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They get a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. Brady to throw on second down. His throw incomplete. Josh Gordon, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Had an open man that time, man. They're putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. New England on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and 11. Now Brady, and that is incomplete. But no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. Here's Ryan Allen now as he's on to punt for New England. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. We'll call that a 49-yard punt with a return of just two. And the Bills will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. On first down, Allen. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, allow me to sidestep for a second after the incompletion, CD. Let's talk about the rookie quarterbacks because just last week we were talking about them going 0-4. But this past weekend, 4-0 for the rookie QBs. Remember that seesaw we used to jump on when we were kids? You're up. You're down. down. Well, this week, they are way up. Sam Darnold and the Jets take out the Broncos. Baker Mayfield and his Browns in overtime. The fierce Ravens pass rush is foiled. And how about Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills taking the measure of the Tennessee Titans, who are off to a 3-1 and one start. And Josh Rosen, his second start in the NFL, he takes out the 49ers with help from his Cardinals teammates. That's the first time in the Super Bowl era that we've had rookie quarterbacks go 4-0 on a weekend. And somewhere in Baltimore, Lamar Jackson's wanting to know when he's going to get his opportunity. Here we go now. 3-19. Now Allen on third down. And that's incomplete. I don't know, he had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. Or the mental focus. Yeah, the that's thing. true. Got to stay with it. That's true. The Bills send the punter out, standing just about on his own goal line. Edelman set to return. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. 
sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. To throw is Brady. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away and it's second down. Well, we have a second on that incompletion. We got to talk about Linval Joseph. <laughs> yes, 64 yard interception return for a touchdown. And then you saw him on the sideline with the glasses and the oxygen mask after. Yeah, you, when you're talking about lugging not just a football, but probably about 350 pounds yeah. down the sideline, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead them up third and long. Brady going to throw. Hey, right on cue. They set up the screen and complete it. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23 yard line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Here's Ryan Allen now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Here's Murphy. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially... Give him 15, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Right, here we go. Maybe trying three, to narrow three, down nine. your playbook three. a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, baby. Early down stuffs to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Let's go. Now Allen to throw. Looking to throw on second down. He'll set up the screen to McCoy. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Allen from the gun on third down, and this is going to be incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. The Bills send the punter out. He's been terrific so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. Brady now on first down. And he's got Edelman for the first time. That's complete. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Edelman, by the way, last week participated against the Colts. First game he's played in since Super Bowl 51. That victory over Atlanta missed all of last year with a knee injury. Was not available for the first four games of this year either. Yeah, and he was discussing getting back into the flow and how fast he could possibly do that because he did play in the preseason, but you and I both know that doesn't count. 
I think the thing that helps him is his connection with Tom Brady, how they work out in the offseason, the extra throws that they make during that time. When they have open weeks, they get together and, and make sure that they practice. So it didn't take as long to get back up to speed. He ended up having seven catches for 57 yards. One drop that could have been a big gainer, but all in all, a pretty successful return for Julian Edelman. Play action. Now it's Brady. He's got a man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. I've got to make sure that I don't take Tom Brady's greatness for granted, that we make it routine. How about that throw right there? Yeah. Another, another great completion. And you know one area where he honed his throwing? He was a catcher in high school. He was actually drafted by the Expos in 1995 in the 18th round. Wow, that would have been something to see him behind the dish. Think he gunned down a few guys? Gunned down a few guys trying to steal second. That would have been fun to watch. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. On the handoff, it's Michelle. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Tackle made there by Matt Milano. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. New England on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This will be third and five. Wait, 20. Wait, 20. Brady to Michelle on the screen. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. It'll go as a nine-yard loss on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. Here's Ryan Allen now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Here's Ryan Allen now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And the Bills getting set to go. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. Allen and the Bills now with a first and ten. Here we go now. Blue lining. Blue lining. <laughs> first down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Tenth carry now for McCoy. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Set. Blue lining. 
This give is to McCoy. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Now whistles blow, and the Patriots are going to take another timeout as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. The Bills send the punter out, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. And now Edelman. 62 yards on the punt that time. Wow. And the Patriots take over. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. <laughs> He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? <laughs> so you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field in this uh, drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. <laughs> so, hey, listen, there's some got, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Call it a three-yard gain, and it'll make it a second down. Now the Patriots moving quickly, hustling up to the line. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's across the 43, extra yards to the 43. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and in inches situation. Shotgun now for Brady. He hits White, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. here on first down and it pops free the collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten to throw again, Brady. And this time he's got the hookup, it's complete. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Give him six on the play, and that's gonna bring up a third down. So we've reached halftime here in Orchard Park with the Bills taking the lead into the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Gets fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They start the second half with Michelle on the ground. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right go. along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now, the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. He was looking for Julian Edelman that time. And it'll bring up third down. They have not gotten him going at all. Tried to spark something there with a longer throw. Unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Throwing his Brady on third down. And the Bills are going to get him as 
as he goes down. Jerry Hughes in there to drop him for a loss of 10. And it'll be fourth and long. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking. But to me, it seems silly. Yeah, well, there it's silly, and that leads to a play action sack. A great return there of 22 yards. And the Bills are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And here the pressure from the outside linebacking spot. And normally when that happens and they're able to get home, that means the other guys on his team helped him out a lot. That They occupied people to allow it to be no less than a one-on-one -on -one situation. Allows him to get home. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Hurry up, here we go. Here's Allen to throw it. He's got a man complete. It's Clay. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. The Bills on third down, not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third right, and nine. Blue They'll run it now out of the gun. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves him looking at a fourth down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be spotted just shy of midfield, a 59-yard attempt. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. So they tried the 59-yarder and missed it. And now this offense starts just one yard shy of midfield. Throwing on first down is Brady. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, right now we are five weeks into the NFL season. Charles switching gears here. Uh, two undefeated teams, the Rams and the Chiefs, both at 5-0. and oh. And who's going to end up being the first to lose? That becomes the game now, doesn't it? Because I know the 1972 Miami Dolphins team is waiting for both of them to lose <laughs> so they can pop their champagne. But who's it going to be? The Chiefs' Wait, upcoming 20. schedule? Wait, They're at New England, Wait, home against Cincinnati, home against Denver. How about for the Rams? Three of their next four on the road at Denver, at San Francisco, home against the Packers, at the New Orleans Saints. Care yeah. to make a prediction? Well, I, I obviously Chiefs at the Patriots, that could be one. But the Rams, three of the next four on the road, I'm going to say, though, the Chiefs drop one in New England. How about you? I'm going to say that they're actually going to drop it at home against Cincinnati. That's my big upset. Wait 20! Wait 20! Wait 20! To throw on third down, Brady. And that is incomplete. Another drive comes and goes, still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. Here's Ryan Allen now as he's on to punt for New England. The Bills offense now, they get set to head back on the field. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, 
Less of a field goal attempt for him. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Now Allen throwing on second down toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. It was the veteran Devin McCourty. He got a hand in there to break that one up. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. The Bills on third down, just a 20% success rate at 2 of 10. They're up against a third and one situation. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. The Bills send the punter out, as he'll come on to kick this one away. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. On first down, Brady. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. James White, the man he was looking for out of the backfield. That'll bring up second down. A little break here after the incompletion. Let's give the kickers from week five some love. We had four game-winning kicks. Greg Joseph of the Browns, they beat the Ravens. Steven Hauschka, the Bills over the Titans. Fairbairn and OT against the Cowboys. And the best of the best, the game that you did, Charles. Graham Gano, how about that 63-yarder for the win? Yeah, and it might have been good up to 70. But let's go back to... Fairbairn in overtime against the Cowboys. You didn't want to do his first name. You didn't want to say Kaimi. There you go. <laughs> I kind of figured you knew it. And, but how about Mason Crosby, though, Green Bay? No one could have had a worse day. Had to have been the worst day of his 12-year career. Missed four field goals and an extra go, point before go. making a meaningless field goal at the end of the ball game. That's something Green Bay's going to have to make sure they get corrected. I count on Mason Crosby to get that done. But last but not least, real quick. Yeah, that great, kid, Greg Joseph. That was a Phil Necro knuckleball. Should it have even counted? Yeah, it should have counted. And the Browns, I feel like they deserve that after some of the tough luck they've had. Good point. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. Here's Ryan Allen now, standing right on his own five-yard line. And a second spin. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Back onto the field now comes the Bills offense. that got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, giving 14. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Second down, here's Allen. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Kyle Van Noy leading the 
a surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely, going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. If there's any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels. Right, here we go. On third and long, it's Allen. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, his struggles continue. Open targets, and he keeps missing them, pressing way too much. He may have a big arm, but until he learns how to harness it and have some touch, he's going to continue to struggle. The Bills send the punter out as he's on here to punt it away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. And now out come the Patriots. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Hey, hey, 20. Again, it's Michelle. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. No gain on that run, and while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. From the gun on third down, Brady, and he'll have his man. That's Edelman. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Brady to his old reliable Edelman, and the Patriots have a first down. I'm guessing, partner, that if we're in the huddle with the Patriots right now, there's not a single guy that thinks they have any chance of coming back in this one, especially not with Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah, who's Tom Brady? What's he done in the past as far as comebacks are concerned? They are down right now, but that can evaporate quickly with him in the huddle. On first and ten, here's Brady. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. That one goes for 24 yards. They had two tight ends in the formation on that one. It looked to me like he had his pick of receivers downfield. I think he was just planning on going over the middle. That's what he did. Picked up first down, too. Brady, perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. 20. 20. Working from the gun, it's Brady. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. On play action, now Brady. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Big play coming up. Here's Wait, third and ten. Wait, I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Starla Tulele able to finally get him for a loss of 16. And it's going to lead to a fourth down. Here's Ryan Allen now, as he's on to punt for New England. 
And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. And here come the Bills. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. A good pick up there of 22. I feel for some of these guys nowadays because it is so tough to be able to run with these tight ends. Their speed, their elusiveness, especially when they run across the field. Because you're not just running with him. You're trying to run through some traffic as well. Now let's go! Here's Allen on first and 10. Going to drop this off to McCoy. Complete. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. They'll give him a yard on the play. And it'll bring up a second down. But it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. Here we go now. Another carry tonight for McCoy. He's been the workhorse. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. So after the run by McCoy, here's another first and 10. Back now in Buffalo. It's the Bills with a lead and the football here to begin the fourth quarter. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Here we go now. Three, 19. Now a play fake here on first down. Dancing to his left. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. I like his thought process and his ability to move and get downfield. But what I didn't like was the final decision to go out of bounds. They want to keep the clock moving. Instead, they give the defense an extra timeout. All right, here we go. Three, 19. Allen looks to throw on second down. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. A pretty good coverage there, and both of these defenses, they've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it, and in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now Allen. And he's got his man. It's the tight end play. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. The Bills passing game, getting him down the field. They've got another first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Here we go now. On first down, Allen. And this is going to be incomplete. I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the legs still there. This has been a tough game. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Here we go now. 319. 319. Allen again here on second and 10. Over the middle and caught by the tight end Clay. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. They'll give it up to Ivory. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. 
And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. To throw on second down, Allen. Oh, no, he lost the football. And fortunately, the Bills jump on it and get it back. And a little bit of good fortune there. He wasn't able to get it back, but he did have a teammate on the spot able to retain possession for them. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? So the shotgun snap to Allen, and that is incomplete. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. And Hauschka's kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Now after the made field goal, Hauschka back out onto the field to kick it away. Now it's Patterson. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. Brady now on first down. He goes full extension, and he's got it. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. You circle, circle the, the Pro Bowl? <laughs> Without a doubt. That's a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. That's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Brady now on first down. Slant round caught by Edelman. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You've got the first one for the second one to even matter. That last catch short of the marker by just a my yard play. leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Brady goes underneath here to White, and he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. From midfield, here's Brady. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Even though this offense doesn't have a single point to its name, they're not totally out of this game yet. A touchdown here, they could be in business. And how about that last play? Now they've got momentum going, so you know I'm a big advocate. Get back on the line of scrimmage. Throw another play out of while you've got them rocked on their heels. Throwing on first down, Brady. And he's got Edelman on the out route. That's complete. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line.
Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Wait, 20. New 20. Yes. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. What a game this defense has played. They're pitching a shutout, so it'll be fun to watch down the stretch to see if their defensive coordinator continues to be as aggressive as he's been all game long. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Gronkowski, slot left. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that'll bring up a second and goal. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. This is caught. Gronkowski. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Rob Gronkowski from six yards away. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. Extra point, good by Gaskowski. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Koskowski now out to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now out come the Bills. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, geez, the second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback. This, to me, he's got to take over right now by word, pumping his team up, and then, of course, by deed with his play. My high school coach used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. A little too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. They yeah, really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. Line of scrimmage. Again, the 25, second and 10. to the air on second down. It's Allen. And he'll check this one down to McCoy. 16 yards there, and the Bills have a first down. Well, probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. They go play action here on first down. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. They'll run it now out of the gun. 
And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. All right, here we go. 3 19. From the gun, it's Allen. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. The Bills send the punter out as he's on to kick it away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Well, things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. They want to be methodical, or they want to take the big strike and go after it right now. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 20-yard 20 line. By 20. Throwing on first down is Brady. Wide open, Julian Edelman. And he'll be out right at the 35. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. By 20! By 20! Now a play fake, Brady. He's going to float this one deep right side. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Brady again here on second and 10. And his throw is incomplete. The former Bill, Chris Hogan, the intended receiver. Third down here. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it. And he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Play action. Now it's Brady. Allen has it. Left side. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. They dialed up the blitz on third down, and your worry is a defense that they can hit you with a big play in that situation. Instead, the blitz pays off, able to rally to the football and make the play. Here's Ryan Allen now as he's on to punt for New England. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays they are going to gain yardage how would you say it? Consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs. And the goal, end the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into right, it as we come up on a big third down. 
working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball third down, got the big completion in the pickup, fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. So a challenge is upon us. I tell you, close game, fourth quarter. This is a huge decision. Oh, no doubt about that, partner. A lot has to be riding on this call. And you know it is a tight one because it has to be indisputable visual evidence in order to change it. Now here's the big question. Do they actually have that evidence? We're about to find out. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Allen now on first down. He's got his man on the crossing route. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 12 yards that time, and a Bills first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. fake here on first down they'll roll him out and he can't get a throw away he's taken down and quickly we're going to get another stop here with 154 left as they call the timeout defensively protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. All right, here we go. Green, 39! They give it to Ivory. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop. 150 left in the football game. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. The Bills send the punter out as he'll come on to kick this one away. So the Patriots coming out now. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late-game situation. What are we going to do? When we have the opportunity, they've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to exit. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. Edelman was the intended target. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute right, drill go. trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. Here we go. 
The Bills on their way to victory now as they take the knee. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Bills are victorious as we say so long from Buffalo.